All right, guys. I hope you can hear me over the fan. Uh, I, I could turn the fan down. Let me let me check the temperature. I got this fan here, sucking the hot air out of the greenhouse. Uh, it's down to like 84, and now it's overcast. And it's getting ready to rain. I wanted to kind of shoot this real quick before the rain came in. But uh, I have some of these uh, these panels here, like these. I think they put them into concrete and things like that. And uh, I've used them for trellises and all that because they're pretty cheap. They're seven foot by three foot. Well, anyway, I took one and uh, and just kind of stuck it in the garden and went o went over like that and made a hoop. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I just need to add me another one on it and then I was going to staple them to the bottom. And uh, that's what I, I think I'll use that uh, to get this thing started. I'm just, uh, it's still going to be about two more days before the, uh, the, the, the cover comes in, the shade cover. Um, but I wanted to kind of see what was going on. But while I'm doing this, I'm noticing how weak this top board is the edge so I'm gonna have to be changing these soon too I'm not gonna do it right now it's not nearly as bad as the other one was um, this side seems to be fine that it's that other side and this back side are the two sides that seem to be uh, needing some attention so uh, that might be after the summer that might be a, a part of the fall fall job to go ahead and repair that but but I mean unless I get a 2 by 8 uh, I'll have to repair the whole thing if I've got 2 by 6s but anyway I got that as a hoop I wanted you to see that maybe tell me what you think I know it's not the best thing to to put your, your plastic on you know what I mean because it's metal you can get caught on the ends I, I understand what can happen um, so that this could change um, I could you know use something else but I don't know if I could bend a PVC pipe like that in, in three feet I don't know if it'll bend like that so I mean I think it's a great height because we could even it's easy for us to get in here and reach in there so we could still get in here and get to the salad bar um, okay that's just a thought I wanted to show, throw that your way, let you see it, man. You can give me any kind of your, your ideas on it, uh, what you think. Um, I get my my air staple out, and I could uh, from the inside, I could staple it to that board. It'll be it'll be fine. I mean, a real strong one might blow it off, and I'm gonna have to get some little clips to clip to hold the. Uh, to hold the plastic on. That's not a problem. I, I, I get the clips, you know. Um, let me lean this a little more so it doesn't blow over and rip my greenhouse. Alright. Alright guys, I just wanted to throw that at you. Uh, I'm kind of getting ready for it when the plastic gets here.
going to be nice. It's going to work really well. This, I'm going to go buy me a uh, bag of tie wraps or something, you know, and I can tie wrap all that together, get it really nice and tight. This is going to be good. And it gives us plenty of space, you know, when we come in here to, to get out of the salad bar. Yeah, well, that could basically leave the ends open, maybe. We'll see. But anyway, looking good. I like the way that looks. I'm going to do a little work inside the uh, greenhouse here now. Um, okay, I was going to staple this in with my stapler, but the staples are not really like, uh, they're not really, what's the word? Um, you know, they're not galvanized or nothing like that. So I'm going to use just some screws, I think the screws, I can, I can put them in there to a way they can hold it in. And I did find some tie wraps.
And then I got one little area right here that could catch on the uh, could catch on the plastic right here on this these ends here. And I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put something. I'm gonna put a uh, I guess a piece of tape or something over those edges to over those edges to help protect it. You know, I kind of did that in here. Um, I had put some tape over the screws because uh, I have, you know, got this wood in here and all. I had to use clamps because I, I didn't want to drill. I mean, this this stuff was so cheap. I didn't want to drill into the the tubing because the tubing was cheap. So I used I used pipe clamps, and uh, so the edge of the pipe clamp was real sharp. Now I did file them down and smooth them, but I still covered them with with a piece of uh, piece of tape so it wouldn't tear the plastic. This looks good. I like this a lot. I'm going to make me a sign that I'm going to put on the front that's going to help hold it sturdy. And it's going to just come going to put the salad bar. And um, yeah, that'll be cool. All right, let me put all my stuff up and then uh, we're going to come work inside the uh, greenhouse. Here's a six pack of the the uh, cucumber bush. So I'm going to I'm going to plant this. out here now you know uh, I know uh, I see people that they put stuff out to like to harden but I don't think when you're growing in a greenhouse you need to really worry about that a whole lot because um, it, it gets beat up with the heat in there and, um, it's, it's only when you're growing uh, I think indoors and they haven't been exposed to anything outside um, and if, the, and if I'm wrong and I made a mistake with that, well, time will tell. And then uh, I do have more in the greenhouse. I can plant it again if they, they don't survive. So I have six that I want to put on here. This is uh, actually six feet long from there to here. Okay, so it's, it's uh, six feet in the inside. So let me come up to about here. And get one and they're looking good there's roots all around it so they're looking good so this is going to be put at three feet right here okay and I'm going to put one at like two feet One foot. One at four feet. You're only going to give me five. Four feet. Five feet. And I can. I can put. Put them on the ends. I really can. Five. And actually, put one of these all the way on the end. Here. Good. And I can get one on this end. So let me go take one out of one of the. Nice one. Put this on this end. Okay, so that takes care of. That gives me a six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. That gives me seven cucumber plants. Let me get let me get them watered in.
Now these, these little bushes, they get about two to three feet high. And they say they give you a, a bunch of bunch of cucumbers. So we'll see. This is my first year trying this kind. Um, it works good. Uh, I might like it better than you know making a trellis and all that. I'm losing some of the mud on the top. Got to settle in. All right. This is kind of loose over here because I, I didn't uh, remember I, I broke this up with that little hand tiller I had. So it's still kind of soft. It's all right though. I'm gonna settle down. So now, um, I just don't, I don't have a lot of stuff I can really plant right now, because things ain't ready, but the, uh, the pickling cucumbers are ready, and, uh, the zucchini is ready, which I need to plant, I'm going to plant some of that in the ground over there. Now, what I did, and, and what I'm, my, the thoughts I'm having right now, is this okay now I did I put these yellow squash in right here and I probably moved a little too fast on that so I'm gonna take those up okay and I'm gonna put them over there in that other, in that new garden over there and I'm gonna put me I'm gonna uh I know I got the I know I have the uh what are these uh the strawberries growing here but I can use this area this this year right here in this corner uh, and, and I got some wire I can cut some wire I can actually or, or bend enough of that to make me a, a trellis in this corner here and I can make this whole corner uh, the pickling cucumbers so that, I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do I can take these four out and put them over there and spread those out into six feet and then I have enough room to, to spread out. That's going to be the yellow squash. And then uh, I'm going to clean the weeds out of this little area here. Right here. And I'm going to get some uh, the zucchini in the ground right there. Okay. That's what I'm going to do right now. So uh, let, me, let me dig up these little plants here. Let's see, where can I set this where y'all can see the whole process? You probably ain't going to be able to see it all. I'll set this up here. Try not to hit the, uh, the actual root. I mean, look at the roots coming out of it already. And I just planted this a couple of days ago.
Let me water it water in the uh, the yellow squash. See me digging, they get all they all up against the fence waiting for me. I mean the uh the opening, you know the Get some zucchini plants. Look at that. Look how beautiful. Look at that. Oh, 
Let me get my little shovel. We like zucchini. We use zucchini a lot, and we make we make uh, noodles with it. on the other side. Okay, we, we love zucchini and uh, we have a little, this little, uh, uh, I don't know what they call it, but you can stick the zucchini in it, you turn the thing and it shreds it and you can make noodles and that's what we do with it. She makes a Greek spaghetti that's out of this world and it's a, made with, the, the noodles is a zucchini and it's made with sausage and a real, real, real light, uh, like, like there's no gravy where you can pour it. it the gravy is so light that when you mix it you mix it all together it uh, puts a the red color on the on the zucchini okay so you don't have like a gravy okay and um, and then you know she does some other put some other stuff in it but oh god it's so good so it's one of one of our favorite things to eat so I've got six zucchini plants in here and I'm gonna have to wash this area here now because that cherry tree uh, soaks up some water um, now when they in the pots they do uh, in the ground they do uh, not as you don't have to water them as much because they draw water out the ground but that's why I got to wash this area uh, because uh, it could steal the water away from these plants so um, I'll just keep an eye on them you know what I mean and uh,
that's why I keep that shovel right there because they always kick it stuff against the door when you open it stuff falls down when you go to close it, it it's hard to close so uh, I leave that there because I got to clean that clean that out quite often okay so I transplanted the I put I mean I, I, I put in the bush cucumbers I transplanted the yellow uh, squash and I planted uh, zucchini okay now usually in front of right in the very front there of the uh, asparagus garden last year I had put four okra plants let me see how the okra look and the okra uh, looks pretty good I'm gonna let them uh, grow a little bit more because they're not as thick like uh, the other ones I just planted and uh, the pickling cucumbers they look good they look ready uh, I need to get, put, probably get some in the ground now what I want to do with the rest of this stuff that I, I don't plant is I want to put them in separate containers like this and I'm gonna do that and that way I'll have them available when people come to buy trees if they ask if I'm selling any vegetable plants I can sell single plants you know and that's what I want to do okay guys my battery's about to go out let me go stick this on the charger and I'll see you back here in the greenhouse